Hi, it's Paul here from selfhelpforlife.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what I am doing to stay well, both mentally and physically, during the current coronavirus pandemic. Now, staying well during this time really comes down to two things. One is minimizing your chances of catching the coronavirus. And that is something that is within your control to some degree, although maybe not completely. And I'll talk about this a bit more towards the end of the video. But the second part, which is much more within your control, is supporting and strengthening your immune system. So that if you do happen to be unlucky and catch it, your immune system is going to have the best chance of fighting it off so that you can make a full recovery. Now, I believe that supporting and strengthening your immune system is something that is largely within your control. The only reason I say largely as some of the things I'm going to suggest may cost a little bit of extra money. So if money is very tight for you at the moment, you might need to focus on some of the other things that I'm going to talk about in this video. So before I get into what I am doing personally to look after myself right now, I encourage you to download my coronavirus checklist. This is a list of simple things that you can do right now to protect yourself and look after yourself both mentally, emotionally and physically. To grab the checklist, go to selfhelpforlife.com forward slash coronavirus or click the first link in the description below or it will be the first link in the show notes if you're listening to the podcast version. Besides getting the checklist, you also get tips, advice, positive news stories, and a little bit of humor by email as well. So I encourage you to go and check that out. So a lot of what I'm doing right now is really about strengthening my immune system, making it as strong as possible. Or as Eric Edmeads, the founder of WildFit says, strengthening your last line of defense because your immune system really is your last line of defense. So I'm gonna focus on that quite a bit in this video. So the first thing really is making sure that your nutrition is as good as it possibly can. So focusing on excellent nutrition. So what is excellent nutrition? Well, it's really having lots of vegetables. That's really, really important. Also healthy plants, fats, and proteins. So I have a ritual which is helping me with this at the moment, which is having a green smoothie every day. So usually in the morning, but sometimes later in the day as well. Uh, so for me, that will typically be some celery, some cucumber, some kale and some spinach, uh, also some coconut water and some frozen mango. And I'll often throw in half an avocado as well. And um, that's really something that's really, really good for me. And I'm making that a ritual. It was something I was doing before the whole coronavirus outbreak, but I was a bit inconsistent with it. Now I'm making it something that I make sure I do every day. So that guarantees that I get my five a day in terms of vegetables. And then I'm also eating lots of healthy salads and lots of raw veg as well, as much as I can do. So I'm also trying to avoid the bad stuff as much as possible. So what is that? processed foods, so minimizing those as much as possible. Also foods with lots of sugar in, so minimizing cakes and biscuits, those kind of things at the moment. And the way to think about this is this is not forever. This is just for a few weeks, hopefully. And the way I think about this is that now is the time to be eating the things that you know you should be eating and not eating the things that you know you shouldn't be eating. So maybe if you're trying to lose weight at the moment and you know what you should be eating and what you shouldn't be eating, now is the time to do that. So number two is staying hydrated. Now your body is over 50% water and your immune system loves water. It's great for flushing out toxins from your body and your brain loves water as well. I find that when I drink plenty of water, I can think better and I can think more clearly. And when you're thirsty, that already means that you're dehydrated. So you really want to be drinking plenty of water so that you don't feel thirsty. So what I'm doing at the moment is first thing in the morning, I fill up my one litre water bottle and I drink one litre of water before lunchtime. And then I do the same in the afternoon, fill it back up for the afternoon, drink another litre during the afternoon. And then I usually drink about half a litre in the evening. Now, for those of you who prefer old measurements, one litre is about 33 fluid ounces. And you might have heard of the eight by eight rule. So that's one glass of water that's about eight fluid ounces, eight times a day. So that's another way of thinking about it. And that adds up to about half a gallon of water. So the third thing I'm doing at the moment is getting great sleep. So the stress, anxiety and uncertainty over COVID-19 at the moment can certainly affect sleep. And I had a couple of nights last week where I had quite bad night's sleep where I was awake for a little bit of time in the middle of the night. Um, so what I've been doing is getting up an hour later in the morning. So typically having an hour longer in bed. 
So that's great because that's helping me strengthen my immune system. It's also an insurance policy if I'm a little bit awake during the night. So that's something I recommend you do. Also ensure that you have a relaxing bedtime routine. So switch off for, from computers and phones and anything that really stimulates your mind one hour before bed. Maybe the TV could be 30 minutes before bed if you're watching something that's quite uh, relaxing on TV and have some kind of like relaxing ritual. So maybe doing a little bit of meditation before bed, maybe doing some journaling, just something that really just helps calm down your mind. Now, if you do have a bad night's sleep, one of the things that might be a lot easier for you to do right now, especially if you're working from home, is have a nap during the day. So what I recommend is a 20 minute power nap. 20 minutes is a good amount of time because it's long enough that you don't go into a really deep sleep, so you won't wake up sluggish, but it's long enough to give your brain a little bit of a rest. So consider that. You could do a nap in the morning if you needed to, maybe another one in the afternoon. I probably would keep it to no more than two naps a day because you don't want to affect your sleep that night. Um, but napping can be really, really helpful. And certainly I've done it many times and it's really given me quite a significant energy boost. So the fourth thing I'm doing at the moment is taking more breaks and having more rest generally. So at the moment, I don't feel that this is the best time to be setting really challenging goals. Instead, I'm focusing on living my life more holistically and living more of a balanced life. So I'm taking more breaks and doing little things to treat myself. That might be going out for a walk or watching a movie on Netflix in the evening. So the fifth thing I'm doing is getting out in the sun more. Now, Eric Ed Meads says that almost every cell in your body comes to the skin layer fairly regularly to get some sunlight. So if you're not getting out in the sun much, those cells don't have a chance to get the benefits of sunlight. And that leads to having a lack of energy and it can affect your mental health as well. So getting out in the sun will give you more energy and it will improve your mental health. Now here in Australia, that's relatively easy to do because we have many sunny days. But at the moment we're coming into winter, so we're not gonna have as much daylight hours. And I suspect many of you who are watching this are probably going into your summer now. So there's gonna be a great opportunity to get more time out in the sun. So ensure that you spend a few minutes, maybe up to half an hour a day in the sun as much as you can. So the sixth thing I'm doing right now is keeping my stress levels as low as possible. You may well be finding that your stress is elevated right now. I think it is for many people. So we need to do more things to try and counteract that and reduce it because stress has quite a lot of negative effects on the immune system. Stress is actually behind almost every illness and um, because it pumps more cortisol in your body and that's bad for your immune system as well. And um, we're just not designed to be in stress mode for long periods of time. So what can you do to reduce stress at the moment? Well, certainly simple things like meditation. So if you haven't practiced meditation, now's a good time to start and learn how to do it. Exercise is great as well. Exercise and movement just helps you get things out of your system. So that's really important too. Going out walks in nature, there's something about nature that's just really, really peaceful. So if you're able to do that right now, that's a great thing as well. And as I mentioned in my previous uh, point, just doing less. So if you can, just do a bit less. Just look at what you really need to do right now and question whether everything really needs to be done. The seventh thing I'm doing right now is keeping alcohol consumption to a minimum. And it's interesting actually because alcohol consumption seems to have gone up during the current coronavirus pandemic because I think many people are using alcohol as a way of escaping from the reality or reducing stress. The problem with alcohol is it takes your body a long time to process it. So it has quite a strain on the immune system while you're doing that. It also keeps your heart rate higher, your resting heart rate higher. So when you're asleep, your heart rate will often be five or six beats per minute higher than it would normally be and that affects your sleep negatively. And what I find also is if I've had uh, too many drinks the day before, then I find that I'm less productive the next day. And that means that things take longer to get done and I get more stressed as a result. So what I'm typically doing at the moment is keeping it down to maybe one small beer or one glass of wine a night. And I probably only drink on two or three nights a week as it is. So I'm making sure I have plenty of alcohol free days. So I highly recommend you do that. If you find drinking is a problem, again, now is a great time to actually do something about it because it's really gonna benefit your immune system. And this could become a nice habit that you could continue easily once this coronavirus pandemic is over. So the eighth thing I'm doing right now is having virtual catch-ups with family and friends. 
because when we're isolated right now, it's important that we still have that connection with others. And we can't have that connection physically, but we can certainly still have a mental and emotional connection with others. And where possible, if you can do this via video, I think that's better than a phone call, but whatever works best for you. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm thinking about people that I haven't spoken to for a few months, sometimes a few years, particularly uh, many of my family in the UK, and then arranging times to have chats with them. And it's a great time to do it now because I've got more time and I'm at home. Also, they're at home and generally have more time available. And they also appreciate having that sense of connection as well. So it's just a great time to catch up and to help each other during this difficult time. So the last thing I'm doing right now, which is really helping, is focusing on the positives. So asking questions such as, what is good about this right now? And some of the things that I'm noticing are, I'm spending much more time with my wife because we're both at home right now, which is really nice. Also, I've got less going on. I seem to have more time to relax, so that's really good too. I've got more time to catch up with family and friends online, which I mentioned earlier. I'm also having more time to learn. So often, you know, learning is that thing that often goes a bit on the back burner when you've got lots of other things going on. I've got time to learn new skills, so I'm really enjoying doing that at the moment. I've got more time to work on Self Help for Life. I've been able to get my videos back up to a weekly schedule right now as a result of this because I'm at home, so I've got time to do it, so that's really good. Um, I've also got time to think, plan, and strategize for the future. Think about how I want my life to be different in the future once we get out of this pandemic. I'm also finding that people are more friendly when I go out to get a coffee or just in the street. Although we're social distancing, I'm finding that people are more friendly. And I think that's because we've, we've got a feeling that we're all in this together at the moment. So we've got more of a sense of connection. In a way, we've all got something in common with everyone else right now. So I encourage you to ask that question, what is good about this? Even if you're going through a really, really tough time right now. You know, what's good about this could be that you're going to have far greater resilience in the future by dealing with the challenging times you're going through right now. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, staying well during this time is really about minimizing your chances of catching the coronavirus. And secondly, strengthening your immune system, your last line of defense, so that if you do catch it, you've got a really, really good chance of making a full recovery. So some of the things that I'm doing to minimize my chances of catching it are probably all the things that you're already doing. So staying indoors as much as possible, just going out if I really have to. Uh, when I'm outside, social distancing, so keeping away from people, but still smiling and saying hello as much as I can. Washing my hands often and thoroughly. So I always wash my hands as soon as I come indoors, as soon as I go out, whenever I'm handling food, I'm washing my hands pretty regularly at the moment. And also avoiding touching your face. Ooh. I bet you're finding this hard. I'm finding this one hard as well. So try not to touch my face. Just actually being aware of it now is making it easier. But I may well do another video on how not to touch your face. So if you think that would be useful, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can do that for you. Now, finally, I highly recommend that you download my coronavirus checklist. This is a list of simple things you can do right now to stay mentally, emotionally and physically well right now. You can get the checklist by going to selfhelpforlife.com forward slash coronavirus or clicking the first link in the description below. Or this will also be the first link in the show notes if you're listening to the podcast version. And besides the checklist, you also get regular emails from me with tips, advice, positive news stories and some humor to help you get through this very challenging time. So I hope you found this video useful and it gave you an insight into what I'm doing right now to help myself stay well during this coronavirus pandemic. And if you're not doing some of the things that I'm doing right now, then maybe this is a good time to start incorporating these into your life so that we all get through this in a positive way together. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to sharing more great content with you very soon. Bye for now.